Thanks for coming tonight. Uh, my name is Afton Hopper. I'm with the Maine Aquaculture Association, and we revamped the Maine Oyster Trail this past June. Uh, the original Maine Oyster Trail was a collaborative effort between MAA and Maine Sea Grant. It was launched back in 2017, and it was really um, an educational resource that lived within the Sea Grant website. It was a list of all the farms in the state of Maine, um, the ones that offered tours, place where you could buy Maine oysters. Um, and we thought that original model was great, but we're seeing all this excitement and new um, business ventures popping up during the pandemic last summer, like farm tours and tumbling demonstrations and direct sales, um, growers who were trying to essentially build a new market, uh, a local market, when restaurants shut down and a huge portion of their sales were lost overnight. And so uh, we got together with our colleagues from Maine Sea Grant, Jacqueline and Heather, right over there. Thank you ladies for coming and for all your help. Um, and we thought, you know, now is the right time to sort of re rebuild and revamp this thing. And so we were inspired by the model of the Maine Pier Trail, which is a very interactive and fun and fully digital tool to help people find Maine breweries. Um, and we really were attracted to the idea that you could check in at breweries and earn rewards for your visit. Um, and so we were like, this is a great idea for Maine Oysters. And so we took that concept, we applied for funding to the Maine Office of Tourism, and we got a generous grant from them, as well as a match from the Maine Aquaculture Innovation Center. Um, and then we applied for funds through Bowie, Maine to help market and promote this thing. Um, and so we actually worked with the same web developers who built the beer trail to essentially build that trail, but for oysters. Um, and so it's really fun. Each business on the trail, there are 75 of them. They each have their own card um, with a QR code so that people can check in using that unique four digit code. Each business has their own code. And as they check in along the trail and they travel and they visit different businesses, whether it's farms, raw bars, kayak excursion companies, charter boats, um, there's all kinds of different experiences on the trail. They work towards earning free swag. And so we send them koozies and stickers, hats, um, canvas tote bags. And so it's a fun game. There's a nice incentive structure to it. Um, and so it's been going really well. Um, we launched June 14th. And since then, we've received or we've seen almost 12,000 um, website page views on the website. And over half of those are on the trip planner page alone, which is the aspect of the trail that helps you plan and customize your experience. Um, we've received almost 600 individual newsletter signups just through the website. We have over 1,000 individual Oyster Passport users, which are the number of people who sign up using the QR code here to check in and earn free swag on the trail. Our goal was to have 1,000 registered users in year one, and we achieved that in two months. So as we've seen, our lesson learned is that demand is really strong, um, especially because last year was such a bad tourism year for Maine and people missed out on their trips. And so this year we saw demand is nearly bottomless. Um, in fact, a lot of the growers were a little overwhelmed in the beginning because they're getting inquiries about farm tours and that can be a lot, um, especially if you're not quite ready for it. And so I would say our biggest lesson learned is that demand is really strong and we need to make sure that everyone on the trail all the businesses and all the people going on the trail know what, what it's about, um, know what to expect when they go out on a farm tour, and that the growers have the resources they need to safely and um, properly take people out on the tour. Um, and so there's a good amount of support and education that needs to be done as well for that. Um, but just to keep going on some of the metrics, we've seen at this point now over 900 total check-ins across all 74 businesses on the trail. Um, including 57 boat and kayak tours, 244 farm tours with the growers, uh, 280 direct sales from the farmer to the consumer, and 429 raw bar visits. And that's just what we're tracking through the passport. That doesn't inc that doesn't even capture the, the whole of it. Um, we've sent prizes to visitors from 13 different states, including Arizona, Connecticut, Florida, Illinois, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New York, New Hampshire, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maine, and Maryland. So our reach is already much bigger than New England and it's continuing to grow. We've sent prizes to 50 individuals so far within a two month period. And we've gotten mentions in seven local media outlets, including TV and print and National Geographic. So 
it's kind of blowing up a little bit, which is really exciting. Um, it's going really well, and it's definitely a transferable model. Um, this is not the first food trail to ever exist. As we know, there's Napa Valley wine trails and beer trails in other states, shellfish trails in other states. So we think this model is definitely something that can be applied elsewhere and where other states could see success um, with the interactive trip planner component as well as the, the prize check-in component. Um, and in terms of what's next, uh, we're seeking additional funding to keep the trail going and we are hoping for an even bigger and better year next summer. Um, we're gonna continue to promote, to promote it in the shoulder season through the fall and winter, because as we know, um, all our amazing raw bars are gonna be open, uh, most of them are open year round, so there's plenty to do on the Oyster Trail, even in the winter, and yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes from here, but so far, it's going strong. So thank you all for coming tonight, and thank you to Sea Grant for the Bowie Made funds, and that's it. Thank <laughs> you.